Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with a new video for you all. Um, this is a edit of jackets. Now, I don't know about you guys, this week there has been some sunshine, I've been out into the garden, some of my bulbs are coming up. It feels like the weather is starting to shift towards spring. And I don't know about you, but I am pretty bored of my winter coats. And so it started making me think about jackets and I started looking at jackets and it went from like a couple to quite a lot. And I'm calling it the short list, but it's not a short list. It's quite a long list. But I've basically done an edit of patterns that I thought I would share with you guys. You might find something in there that you already own or, you know, it might give you some ideas for something you could make. But yeah. So what I decided to do is there is a link down below um, to a blog post, but everything's kind of laid out quite nicely. So I'd recommend going and looking at that. I will also list all the patterns, but there are a lot. So what I'm going to do is talk about the patterns, how I've grouped them together kind of quite quickly, um, because otherwise it would be, I'm not joking, 15 hours of me warbling on. So if you haven't got a cup of tea, go and get one and I'm going to get started. So the first kind of um, pack of patterns I've got for you are shackets. So those of you that don't know, I'm sure you already do, that it is a jacket that is like a shirt. So if you look at a line drawing, it almost looks like a shirt pattern, but it's the fabrication really that changes it to a jacket. So you can make these in, depending on how warm you want it to be, anything from sort of a full winter coat type fabric to a cotton. I would probably make it in the full winter coat because I am intrinsically cold. So, but it's completely up to you. So I've got three really great jackets. So the, I will say that they're all, I'm gonna show you the picture with them all together. They're numbered. So I'll do them by number. And then um, obviously the links will be down below. I figured that was the easiest way to do this. So the first one I've got to talk to you about, number one is the Juliana Martej Olivia coat. This is a PDF only pattern. It comes in sizes UK six to 20. I picked this one particularly because of the big statement pockets on the front. Um, it kind of comes down kind of mid thigh length, quite a nice kind of good option. So the big pockets was the thing that drew me to the first one. The second pattern that I've got for you is the Lenoline Diana dress. This comes in as a PDF only pattern. It's available in sizes UK 8 to 18. I picked this one because I really like the longer length of it. I thought it was really interesting shape and particularly loved the um, the hemline, the kind of curved hemline around the side. I think that was really great. And I the longer one I feel like is a really useful item for your wardrobe. If you want something that's like almost in between the two of them, I thought that the Stylark Logan Shacket was the one. Um, it's got some of the details, it's got the pockets on the breast, but they're not as kind of enormous and overstated. The thing that's interesting about this one is it's got this really lovely curved seam detail on the back. So this one, sorry, I got distracted, is paper only and it's available in sizes UK four to 30. Hopefully I will remember to say this, but I can I have a feeling it's going to get bedlam as I get further into this. <laughs> so shackets. Next up, I've got pea coats. These were everywhere on the high street. I think they're going to be kind of a big thing this spring. I personally love them. They're a classic shape. They're never going to go out of style. I've got three options for you. So the first one is the Maker's Atelier pea coat. This is a PDF only pattern and it comes in sizes UK 4 to 22. Um, it's double breasted. It's got, um, what's the word? Princess seams that have pockets in them. It's got this nice kind of detail along around, along the back of the coat, um, that kind of bark detail, which I thought was really interesting. The next one I've got is the Grain Line Studio Cortland Trench. This is a paper only. It comes in sizes UK zero to 30. Now, I know you're looking at this thinking this is a trench, but to me, this feels quite peacoat like in its shape. Um, obviously, it's got some trench details with a little storm flap, but for me, you could also call it a pea coat. So it's got raglan sleeves, double breasted. It's got this nice um, optional storm flap detail on the back, 
which I think was really lovely. And it's got quite a lot of nice details. So you could totally make this in lots of different fabrics and it could do loads of different things. Finally, I've got the Soraya, Soraya jacket from Sew Over It. Now, let me tell you before I get distracted. PDF only this one, and it comes in sizes UK six to 30. I've never seen this pattern before, have you guys? It's such a good, it's such a nice shape, really useful. It's kind of a mixture of a pea coat, a trench, and a bomber jacket, not a bomber, um, a, a sort of biker jacket. It's got no fastenings on the front. It's got little storm flap details, um, little epaulets on the on the on the seat on your shoulder up here. Nice little details on the cuff as well. Um, it's such a fab pattern. I have never seen it before. Not never seen it before, but I've just it's never been on my periphery, and I think it's a great one. So if you haven't, go and check it out because I I think it's a great one. So next we've got trench coats. Now I know you're going to say it again, this is a coat, but with a British spring, it is for quite chilly. So I thought you can't beat a trench in my mind. And they're also everywhere again this spring. Um, big and boxy was the shape kind of style of the ones that I saw in the high street. So the first pattern I've got is the kind of the OG of the indie sewing, trench coat market. Um, it's the Isla trench coat from Named. This comes as a PDF and a paper pattern. It's available in sizes UK 4 to 28. All the, all the details you expect on a classic trench coat. I absolutely love this. Um, it's just it's just great. If you did want to make this a bit more boxy, then you could um, so just size it up a couple of times and go up a couple of sizes and it would feel kind of more roomy. But this is sort of your classic shape. If you um, wanted it a little bit more roomy, the next options are perfect. The first one is the Modern Sewing Company Darty Coat. I really like this because it, um, it definitely falls into the trench coat category, but it doesn't have loads of the details. Um, I really love the kind of oversized big patch pockets and a quite a big collar detail as well. Um, it's got drop shoulders. There's lots of good stuff going on there, but it's a sort of slightly more kind of understated version of a trench for me. So it, the big boxy ones, the first one I've got the McCall's 8246. Um, I love this. It comes in two different lengths. It's got all the kind of standard details. The thing that's really nice detail wise on the back is this sort of kind of this sort of shape can you see on the um on the line drawing along the back of the coat i thought that sort of detail was really interesting um and i've never seen that before and i also like that it's got a, um, a seam down the back of it um which is quite handy for fit so that is in the boxy territory the last one is the vicky sews sybil trench it's a pdf only oh i've forgotten to say what everything is haven't i so let me go back. I'm sorry. So the Modern Sewing Company is a PDF only one. The McCall's one is paper only and it comes in sizes UK 6 to 24. And the Vicky Sews one is PDF only and comes in UK sizes 6 to 16. So this is a quite a small size range on this one. I really liked the shape of this. I love the details on it. This has got so many good details. If I show you the line drawing, you can see this interesting storm flap pockets, um, stuff going on on the sleeve. It's just, it's just a, like a wealth of like detail. And if you're feeling like you want to take on something big and proper, this would be a really fantastic option. Beginners, if you are a beginner, have you new to the outer world? outerwear department, want to make something but unsure where to start, I've got four fantastic options which are perfect for beginners. The first one we've got is the Helen's Closet Moss Jacket. This is a PDF only and comes in sizes UK 6 to 34. I think this is a really useful item, super easy. Um, it's got this kind of wide sleeve drop shoulder and it's got this really nice detail where the um, pockets are sort of sewn into the seam. And this really nice kind of big kind of collar detail around the front. 
you can make this really quickly great layering piece it would look really nice with jeans it would also look nice with a dress so there's quite a lot of things that you can do with what, this one the next one I've got is the Juliana Martej Nelly coat. This is a PDF only and comes in sizes UK 6 to 20. This pattern is sewn entirely by hand. So this I thought was a really good option if you've never made anything before, but you've done some hand sewing, that you can make it all by hand. You can do it on the sofa while you're watching TV. And the only thing I should note is that the instructions for this are video. So if you don't like video instructions, then this is not the pattern for you but such a nice pattern, really nice, simple, easy to do. Next, we've got the Vanessa Hansen Solvy jacket, PDF only, this one, and comes in sizes UK 6 to 32. This is such a lovely pattern. It almost looks like a bit of tailoring, but there are no fastenings, it's unlined, and actually super, super quick to make. Um, I really like how they've accessorized it and they put the button details on, which you could just sew on. It's a nice little extra and it really makes it feel like quite, actually quite a smart coat yet the, the construction of it is really nice and simple. Last up in the beginner category is the Helen's Closet Pona Jacket. Um, I loved this, I thought it was a, such a nice shape. Um, so it's a PDF only, it comes in sizes UK 6 to 30. Um, I'll show you the line drawing, you can have a bit more of a look. There are two length options for it, patch pockets um, it actually looks like it's more complicated than it is, but I think this is a perfect pattern for a beginner. Helen's Closet have really fantastic instructions, so you are in completely safe hands. Next up, we've got bomber jackets. I know, I love a bomber jacket. They, again, are everywhere on the high street for this spring. Um, they were around last year, and they're definitely kind of lingering on. Again, quite oversized. I would say everything this season is oversized. I've got three options. Um, the first one is quite oversized and the other two are less so, but I know that you, know, you can play around with the proportions yourself. So the first pattern I've got is a birder. It's the 6489. This comes in sizes 14 to 30. Um, I really like this because this is probably at the, the only one that's got the kind of roomy feel to it. Um, it's raglan sleeve, it's got all the details you can expect. There's an optional hood if you wanted to add it, but honestly, if you wanted to keep it more trend based, I would not pop the hood on because it that I didn't see anything like that with the hood. So that's my kind of boxy bomber. The next one I've got is um, the Makers Atelier Sport Luxe Bomber Jacket. I like this one because it's cropped um and I really like the fabric actually I love the idea of making this in a, in a kind of satin it feels like totally different and with the kind of matte um ribbing detail it look I thought it was really nice fabric choice this one is um a sort of bat wing shape in the sleeve so it's the whole front panel is cut in one piece it means actually it's quite a simple sew and then it has a seam down center back the last one is um, a Fibre Mood Frida jacket. PDF only, comes in sizes UK 6 to 30. Um, this one has got a, it feels like a bomber jacket, but it's got this like nice collar on it. So it kind of feels like a sort of 60s sports jacket. Um, so I thought this was like a sort of nice middle ground for people. It's got the ribbing on the bottom. It's got pockets as well and a zip up the front. So this is a really good option for that. Next, we've got workwear. Freaking love a workwear jacket. It's probably the thing that I definitely want to make this season, which I say every season and still haven't done. Um, but I couldn't narrow it down any closer from four. I had to, it had to four in there. The first one we've got is a, a newish one. It's the Jamila jacket from Mason. It's a PDF only. It comes in sizes UK. 8 to 28. I love this. I love, love, love this. Two different um, length options so you can make it slightly longer. It's got these big statement pockets and um, button down the front. I think it's a really nice shape. It feels a little bit more feminine than some of the other ones I've included. So yeah, it's probably my favourite of the four. The next pattern we've got is a Brigitte Hemelson unisex workwear jacket. 
This is a PDF only pattern. I will say with this pattern, um, the PZ, because um, she, her big thing is zero waste. So the concept is that you don't have any fabric left over. So her instructions are instructing you how to draw directly on the fabric to cut it out. In, so everything is in kind of big squares. Um, it sounds kind of kooky, but it, it definitely works. And I really love this jacket. It's nice, relaxed fit. Um, it's, it's, you can see when you see the line drawing, it's very square, obviously, because you're cutting com actual complete squares, which gives it quite a boxy kind of shape. The next one is the Friday Pattern Company Ilfa jacket. This is a PDF and paper pattern. It's available in sizes six to 34. I put this one in because this one is probably the most popular. Um, loads of people absolutely love it. It's got pockets galore and there's loads of different variations that you can make with this with the pockets. You can kind of really make it your own. Um, again, there's a longer version available on this one. And last but not least is the Closet Cause Sienna Maker Jacket. This is paper only for this one and comes in sizes UK 6 to 20. Again, there are different variations with this one. So you can make it kind of however you want to. There are a long, there's a longer version, a shorter version, interesting pocket options. There's this lovely tie detail that kind of pushes through. Um, it's such a clever pattern. If you haven't seen any made, go and have a look online because there are some great ones and people have really kind of flown with it and done some really creative stuff. Next, we've got the rain department because let's be honest, it is always going to rain. Um, I've got three really great jackets that I think would work fantastically if you're thinking that you'd like to make one. So the first option I've got is the TN31 Parker coat from Merchant and Mills. This is a paper and a PDF pattern. It comes in sizes UK 6 to 18. The picture that I've showed you is the add-on with a hood, which I really like because it feels, I don't know about you, especially if it's raining, I really would like a hood. So um, you need to get both bits to make this. Uh, I really like the shape of it. It's nice, boxy and roomy. So the second one we've got is a, your classic um, raincoat. It's the Iron Pattern Jack. It is a paper and a PDF for this one. And um, it's got, I mean, literally if you wrote Anorak, this is the kind of classic one that you would think. It's got a two piece hood big pockets, poppers down the front. It's just finding the perfect fabric that will make it really special. So last but not least in the rain jacket department, we've got the Closet Core and Kelly Anorak. So this comes is a paper pattern only and comes in sizes UK 6 to 20. Again, quite a lot of variations on this, lots of pocket options. There's a hood, a kind of um, three piece hood, which I really like in terms of it kind of feeling like it's going to really sit nicely on your head or there's a big funnel neck option so you can pick whichever one you would prefer. I saw a lot of boxy tailoring, big shoulders, big kind of oversized um, kind of classic blazer type jackets and I thought I would include a couple because they're very much on trend and if you, I think this again will see you all through summer. So I've got two Vicky Sews patterns to start with. Um, the first one is the Rihanna blazer. I really, oh, it's a PDF only. I really loved this because it has the big boxy feel, but the thing that makes it really interesting is this drawstring like tie at the waist. And I really like that they've got the waistband literally quite high up, almost like kind of on your upper waist um, to really kind of, it just makes it feel almost more oversized than it actually is. Um, it's got lots of other lovely details, but that for me really was the thing that drew me to it. If you're looking for something a little bit more classic, the Fernanda blazer or Fernan, yeah, Fernanda blazer is a great option. Again, this is PDF, it's double breasted. Um, this is much more of an involved make, this proper tailoring. You can see that it's got shoulder pads in it, um, but really interesting shape. If you're looking for something a little bit more relaxed, I thought that the Friday Pattern Company Heather Blazer would be fab. 
It's paper and PDF, this one, and it comes in sizes 6 to 34. Um, actually relatively simple in terms of construction for a blazer, just one button at the front. It's, yeah, it's a really nice one, so definitely worth having a look at. Cropped jackets were also something that I saw quite a lot of. They're, I find them quite useful. You can wear them with dresses. Um, anyone with a slightly shorter body, that they tend proportionally, I I've, I've, I've actually have a short body, proportionally actually work really well. Um, and I, I'm always kind of passively on the lookout for some. So I thought I'd include a few of my favorites. The first one is the Liesl & Co Yannicka jacket. This is available as paper and PDF, and it comes in sizes UK 8 to 20. There are bus cups included A, B, C and D for this pattern. Um, really popular pattern. People went absolutely nuts when it was released. It's really simple in terms of the construction. You can see that it's got a grown on sleeve, um, seam up the centre back, uh, and this really interesting shape um, of the bottom of the jacket, um, which I think is really flattering and this sort of slightly high collar. Um, it's a really unusual pattern and definitely worth having a look at. Next is the Vicky Sews Nancy Blazer. I loved this, I think it's really interesting. It's a PDF only. Um, it's available in sizes six to 20. Um, it's, it's basically like a tailored, proper tailored jacket, but they've literally just lopped it off um, just under the bust. Um, it's double breasted. I just think it's a really clever and I really like the proportions of it. I think it's really interesting. So if you haven't come across it, definitely worth having a look at. Um, the next we have got the Itch to Stitch Poas jacket. Um, this is a PDF only and comes in sizes UK 0 to 20. I oh, know, sorry, UK 0, 0 to 40. And there are A, B, C, D and double D cups included in this one. So this is almost like a, it looks like a denim jacket, but without the collar. And it's got this quite a kind of nice cut on the neckline for this. Um, I thought this actually would be really useful item. Again, look fantastic with dresses. The last one I've got is the Ensemble Surtout Coat. Um, excuse the pronunciation there. PDF only for this one. And it's available in UK sizes 6 to 26. I found this actually sort of by mistake but I love it. I love the shape of the collar. I love the proportions of it. Um, I think the, the length of it, I just, I think it's a really useful one. I like the three quarter length sleeves. You could totally wear this with loads of different things. And I think it would be really flattering. The, there's also a variation to make it longer as well. So it's quite a kind of versatile pattern if you're looking for something like that and actually quite simple to make. So, if you are still alive and here and haven't gone to sleep yet, the last batch I have got for you is the quilted jacket because it's back again, everyone loves it, and the indie sewing world, we, we all love a quilted jacket. So I've got three options. I've got the Megan Nielsen Havia jacket, which has been super popular. Um, it's paper only for this one. It comes in sizes UK, zero to 34 and there's a split in it so just double check you've got the right one um lot again lots of different variations for this so you really can make it your own there are three different length options there are different pocket options and ties and all of that good stuff so if you haven't made it yet maybe now is the time i feel like you can wear this almost as a jumper as well as kind of a jacket um the next one i've got i thought was really interesting it is the Fibre Mood Irma Body Warmer. It's a PDF only, this one, and comes in sizes UK 6 to 30. I love this as a shape, really useful item. It's, who doesn't love a little gilet? Um, so it's actually a very simple kind of boxy shape, quite kind of straight cut, but it has this optional tie that kind of cinches you in at the waist and you can kind of really wrap it and tie it nice and tight. It's a really good thing to wear underneath something. You know, you could wear a lighter weight jacket and have this as a big kind of cozy bit in the middle. Um, again, you obviously do the quilting yourself, so it's, um, it's not for the faint hearted, but actually, I've made a couple of quilted things. Once you get going on it, it's actually really nice to do because you kind of learn a new skill in the process. The last but not least on this 
is we've got the um, Vicky Sews Cheryl jacket. This is paper and PDF. It's available in sizes UK 6 to 20. I put this one in just because I love the proportion of it. Massively oversized, really cozy. You could put, you could fit loads of clothes on underneath. So you could make it now and wear it with lots of layers. And then as it gets to spring, you can just strip off the layers underneath. But the shape and proportion of it, I think is great. So that is it for me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, this is so long. I tried to go as quickly as possible, but do go and have a look at the blog post. And I hope at least out of the 75,000 patterns I mentioned, there is one that you'd like, I don't know, sparked a bit of interest. Anyway, have a lovely weekend and we'll be back soon with another video.